Bonjour, French students. Here are your Lesson 11 listening activities from your workbook pages 101 and 102. Unité 4. Le monde personnel et familier. Leçon 11. Le copain de Mireille. Section 1. Les adjectifs. A. Compréhension orale. You will hear a series of adjectives. Can you determine if these adjectives describe boys, girls, or both? Listen carefully. If the adjective is masculine only, check column A. If the adjective is feminine only, check column B. If the adjective can be either masculine or feminine, check both columns. Modèle. Amusante. Amusante is a feminine adjective. You would check column B. So this is about listening very carefully to the difference in the pronunciation of the adjective. Because amusant ends in a T, when you add the E to it to make it feminine, it sounds different. So the masculine form would be amusant. The feminine form is amusant. However, remember adjectives that already end in an E, they sound the same both masculine and feminine. For example, sympathique. Sympathique is the same whether it's masculine or feminine. So you're listening carefully to tell whether the adjective is masculine, feminine, or it is both. Commençons. 1. Intéressant. 2. Intelligente. 3. Timide. 4. Sympathique. 5. Mignonne. 6. Sportif. 7. Intelligent. 8. Sportive. Now check your answers. You should have marked column A for numbers 1, 3, 4, 6, and 7. You should have marked column B for numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8. B. Parler. You will hear the description of a boy followed by the name of a girl. Say that this girl has the same personality traits as the boy. Modèle. Philippe est amusant. Et Mélanie? Elle est amusante. So this is a speaking one. Every time you're going to take the adjective that you hear, that's going to be masculine and make it feminine. All of your answers are going to start with L-A. So L-A will be all of your answers. Again, this is a speaking one, not a writing one. <clears throat> Nicolas est intelligent. Et Stéphanie? Elle est intelligente. 2. Thomas est timide. Et Véronique? Elle est timide. 3. Jean-Paul est sportif. Et Isabelle? Elle est sportive. 4. Patrick est gentil. Et Marie? Elle est gentille. 5. Antoine est sympathique. Et Julie? Elle est sympathique. 6. Pierre est intéressant. Et Pauline? Elle est intéressante. Section 2. Les nationalités. C. Compréhension orale. You will hear about the nationalities of various people. 
Do these adjectives describe men or women? If the adjective is masculine, circle the letter A. If the adjective is feminine, circle the letter B. Modèle. Tu es américain. Américain is a masculine adjective. You would circle the letter A. So again, this is about listening carefully to hear whether you hear a masculine or feminine adjective. These are all adjectives that are going to sound different depending upon whether it's the masculine or feminine form. Commençons. Uh, vous êtes anglaise, n'est-ce pas? Deux. Voici mon amie canadienne. Trois. Li est chinois. Quatre. Michiko est japonaise. Cinq. Silvio est italien. Six. Pilar est mexicaine. Now check your answers. You should have circled the letter A for sentences 3 and 5. You should have circled the letter B for sentences 1, 2, 4, and 6. D. Parler. Now you will hear where certain people live. Say that they have the nationalities of these countries. Modèle. Mes copines habitent en Italie. Elles sont italiennes. So again, this is a speaking one. Now in this one, the answer started L sont because this is plural. Some of these are singular, in which case you'll either start with il or l and then a and your nationality. Again, this is a speaking one, not a writing one. Commençons. 1. Mon cousin habite au Mexique. Il est mexicain. 2. Ma tante habite en Espagne. Elle est espagnole. 3. Mes cousines habitent au Canada. Elles sont canadiennes. 4. Madame Katagiri habite au Japon. Elle est japonaise. 5. Monsieur Tang habite en Chine. Il est chinois. 6. Mon oncle habite en Suisse. Il est suisse. Here are your answers that you should have said. Section 3. Dictée. E. Écoutez et écrivez. You will hear a short dialogue spoken twice. First, listen carefully to what the people are saying. The second time you hear the dialogue, fill in the missing words. Écoutez. Qui sont les filles sur la photo Ce sont des copines de Québec. Elles sont canadiennes Non, elles sont françaises. Elles sont sympathiques et très amusantes. Et les garçons qui jouent au foot Ils sont mexicains. Ils sont très sportifs. Listen again and fill in the missing words. Qui sont les filles sur la photo Ce sont des copines de Québec. Elles sont canadiennes Non, elles sont françaises. Elles sont sympathiques et très amusantes. Et les garçons qui jouent au foot Ils sont mexicains. Ils sont très sportifs. Unité. Here is your key for that. So we have qui sont les filles sur la photo, ce sont des copines de Québec, elles sont canadiennes, 
Non, elles sont françaises, elles sont sympathiques et très amusantes. Et les garçons qui jouent au foot, ils sont mexicains, ils sont très sportifs. All of these adjectives are plural because we're always talking about more than one person. Okay, this one and this one are masculine and plural. Okay. And this one, this one, really this one and this one, these are all feminine and plural. So this is saying, who are the girls in the picture? They are some friends from Quebec. Are they Canadian? No, they are French. They are nice and they are very fun. And the boys who are playing soccer? They are Mexican. They are very athletic. And you have no homework. Again, use this to make sure that you are completely caught up in your French class as well as all your other classes. The end of the trimester will be here very soon. Remember, your end date for all of your classes is June 4th. Have a great day. Au revoir. A demain.